Okay, so we have chosen what our blog is going to be about today. Um, we have chosen hyper-local uh, things to do in Las Vegas. Under the category Las Vegas Hotels, we're going to write about the cosmopolitan Las Vegas. So our targeted keyword phrase is going to be cosmopolitan Las Vegas, although we're going to build on a bunch of long tails, which we're going to go get right now. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to use our fantastic tool again, STMrush, which I am a huge fan of. And we're going to take this Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. And we're going to go over here to the SEO content template. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to get an idea of what the competition is uh, for that, um, for the, for the, we're going to look at which pages are ranking already in the top 10 and what their content looks like. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. We're going to put this into here, Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. And what we can do here is we can say, okay, show me only results in Nevada, in Las Vegas, and show me desktop or show me phone. Okay. And it's important to kind of get an idea for um, what's happening with both of those. So let's go ahead and take a look at desktop. And we're going to click Create SEO Template. And now what it's doing is SEMrush is scouring the web. And um, it's going to pull up the results. And again, if you want to use SEMrush, go over to lauristools.com. I'm also going to uh, put the links here in these videos. And scroll down to SEMrush. Click there. Sign up. Get a free, tri free trial. Some of my links get you extended trials or coupons. Um, some of them are just, uh, are just products I use. There's no affiliation with whatsoever. I just put them on here because these are what I use. Some of them I do get some sort of a kickback or commission or um, cup of coffee or gift card or something if um, people sign up. So I do appreciate you using those links um, when possible. And again, some of them I don't have anything related. I just like to give you the list of tools that I use. Okay, so... SEO recommendations for your content. You can export this to a document so that you can look at it um, at any time off the internet as well. Now let's look at all the rivals. So here's our top 10. The first one, Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. If I wanted to see it, I click on this little box and it's going to open the actual page on that website that ranks for the Cosmopolitan. And I personally think this is a fantastic page. They've done a great job. I love that their hero space here, their video has functionality. There's actually a widget on top of it, but that's just a side note. <laughs> um, all right. So this is what you're competing with. Okay. The number one spots, we're probably not targeting the number one spot in this particular case for that head term. I, again, we are going to look at some long tails here coming up soon. Second one, let's close that out. Second one is TripAdvisor. So I would open this. I would look at every one of these. Look at, look at what they look like. Why are they important? Okay, so this one is interesting. Uh, Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas autograph collection. Okay, so to me this looks like we can create something more relevant. It, just saying, in my opinion, just by looking at it, it doesn't have a... Um, it's 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 a it's a travel site and it's about a lot of things other than just the cosmopolitan. So my opinion, we can we could probably um, score a little bit higher than this page possibly. Um, third one is Wikipedia. So this is just your standard Wikipedia, all about the hotel. Now there's a lot of content on this page, um, a lot of words on the page, but I would believe that Google would rather return um, a more local informative website like my local Las Vegas site than Wikipedia. So I believe we can beat Wikipedia. So already I'm like, yes, this is good. Fourth one's Yelp. So you take a look at Yelp and I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to incorporate um, Yelp reviews. So I'm going to leave this open. Then we're going to look at the next one and we're going to look at Vegas.com resorts, cosmopolitan. What did they do? Okay, so they've got um, information about the site. We can definitely beat them on word count here. Um, they've got the deals. They've got some information on the rooms. Um, so this looks like their standard 
template that they're using for hotels, but no, I don't see a lot of information about the restaurants and the clubs and, um, yeah, so in my opinion, ah, that's a good one. I just got an idea, race and sports book. I don't have that on mine, so I'm going to, I need to add that to mine. So I'm going to leave this one open. Okay, and then um, Vegas.com. Okay, uh, Marriott, Hotels, Travel, Cosmopolitan Autograph Collection, Instagram, Facebook. These are all going to be beatable. There are links. Um, okay, so my first thought in looking at this is we could we could take top three. We could we could land this page in the top three. Okay, obviously I'm being aggressively optimistic with a keyword difficulty score of almost ninety percent, but um, almost ninety. But I know we I think we can do it. So here's what we're going to look at here. Out of those top 10 um, rivals, Google calls them, our competition in the top 10, these are the keywords that all 10 are using. So they all have the word Las Vegas, they're all using the word Cosmopolitan. Now some of these seem pretty obvious, obvious uh, you know, if you're diving into an in-depth article, aren't you going to use the word, you know, if it's about Las Vegas and it's about the Cosmopolitan, you would expect to see those. Um, I'm going to somewhere in there talk about the fact that it's a hotel and it's going to be in the category hotels Las Vegas. So there's really no new ideas in this particular little batch because I know I'm going to cover all of those. But if you saw a keyword phrase and hadn't thought about it, you might go, oh, let me make sure I write about that too. And I'm going to show you another cool way to get ideas for this in a second from the same tool. Then we have a list of backlinks. And this is suggesting that you could reach out to these um, websites and try to get a link to your article because some of these other articles have done so. And you might be able to get a backlink and that can help boost your um, page as well. Now, what we know is in 2017, um, you know, Google's getting better about deeming trust and authority for a web page um, based on more factors than just who's linking back to it now. So although backlinks are still relative, I've got a ton of page one um, web pages on, on the number one spot on Google or in the top of Google that don't have backlinks, so it's not necessary. Uh, although in a highly competitive term, if you're not ranking as high as you want to, this is the next step is to go see about the backlinks, okay? Readability, average readability score of the top 10 URLs is 50. Um, I've got a little lesson plan on that in the Ballon Method. You can read up on theballonmethod.com. Text length, okay, this is what I was gunning for here. Recommended text link, length, 1,802 words. So what it's saying is the average word count of those 10 rivals is 1800 words. If you're going to take on those 10 rivals, you want to have a minimum of eight, 1800 words in depth. And I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go for 2000 or more. I want to beat them. I don't just want to be the average. I want to be better than that's what I'm working on. Okay. So just looking at this, I now know I need a 2000 word article about the cosmopolitan. And I want to make sure that I am using these semantically related keywords. And I didn't really see anything, any special ideas on any of that content. Sometimes when I open the content, I'll see, um, you know, oh, they're using a lot of video or this one's really cool because they've got an infographic. We can use that same infographic or, you know, I'll get some ideas, but none of these are jumping out at me as anything special that we're not already going to take care of. Okay. And then let's go back really quick and just take a look at it on mobile as well. So let's drop that down and let's look at it on a phone and we'll create the SEO template. And you, you know, sometimes you'll, oh, I didn't type in the cause of policy in Las Vegas. Sometimes you'll find the same 10 or, or um, a bunch of the, of the same. Um, but there are, there are a lot of websites that rank really well on desktop. I mean, I have way more keywords that rank on desktop. Um, than mobile, but that doesn't mean I also don't rank very well on mobile because I do, but um, you will you will see a difference. So number one spot, Cosmopolitan. See here, these two reversed. Wikipedia is now number two, TripAdvisor is number three. So they're still on there, but they reversed. Yelp still number four. Um, I like this one because it's their mobile version. So Vegas.com slash resorts, Cosmopolitan, it's their mobile version. Now this looks silly on desktop because it's desktop, not mobile. But you, you'll want to take a look at those, what they look like on your mobile device. Um, I don't see anything new. I don't think anything 
there is new. So pretty much the, the same one. So we still get the same ideas. Um, now here, oh, here you go. Check this out. The semantically related keywords changed. So here is an idea, uh, booking, the word booking, restaurants, casino. Those were not on the first list of semantically related keywords. So on the 10 mobile, there's some, uh, there's some additional ones. Now, again, if you're writing about a hotel casino, you're going to use the words hotel casino, but maybe I wouldn't have thought to break down the restaurants. And now I will because it's on there, right? So that's kind of the idea. And then there's some different backlinks. They're all there. I see some different backlinks, some of the same on there. And then you can also pop these open and look at, at what each one of them looks like. Okay. Now, before we end this segment, I'm going to show you how we get our paragraph headings now to target those long tail keywords, to target the to site links, which I'm going to show you what those are. Okay. So let's go back to um, SEMrush here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's go back. Now, we already typed in the word Las Vegas to find Cosmopolitan um, Hotel. We did that on uh, video one. Now we're going to look for everything related to Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. Okay, now scroll down and click on view full report. And we're going to look at all of the keywords, at least the head terms that Google is, is picking up related to Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. Okay, now we have phrase matches. So in these phrase matches, you're going to see the word Cosmopolitan Las Vegas because that's what we're looking up here. But if you click here, related keywords, you're also going to see some related keywords to Cosmopolitan Las Vegas that may not have that phrase in it, that may still be related to Cosmopolitan, but may not have the actual words Cosmopolitan Las Vegas in them. So this is a good idea to scan as well for ideas. So first, we'll start off with the actual phrase matches. If I get enough information from phrase matches, I don't need to, do relate, to go over the related unless I'm going to expand content again at a later date. One of the things I like to do very much is build um, a great piece of content, which we're doing here today, and then measure how it does on the search engines. And if it gets to page one or even page two, but it doesn't go high enough, then I'll come back in and add more content. So if, I, if today we find enough, which I know we're going to already because I've done this research ahead of time, if we find enough in the phrase match, I'm not going to go over to the related. Uh, but later, if I need to come back and add more words or more content that I'm going to look at related and keep going and add it later, but I'm not going to do it today because I know I'm going to get enough words out of, out of this here. Okay. All right. So cosmopolitan Las Vegas, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to make our order for our content at the same time as we do, um, as we do this research. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this video series two where we learned how to use the SEO content template to determine um, how many words our blog post needs to have um, and uh, where to get backlinks and some of the semantically related keywords they're suggesting. And now in part three, we're actually going to create our order and we're going to use this tool again, SEMrush, to create our paragraph headings. So we're going to come back and do that in uh, video three.